coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. The problem! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your room. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Shore. Oh, big head kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice punch. Now connects with a right. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Leg kick. Oh, collar tie. And doubling up on the jab. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Stuffs the takedown and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. And loaded up on that right hand, too. Lands 
strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Super Bowl. Under two minutes to go. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but it doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he's starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Stuffs the takedown there. Hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Choi's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not head hunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Keep that head moving. Head moving. Slips. Beautiful hook. Awesome oh, power tie here. Ooh, big shot land. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Big leg kick lands. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, nice. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more. And, oh, 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 and now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, it can end the night that will land him right on the spot. Good point. Oh, big left hook there. You got to check to these low leg kicks. Just out of range with that strike. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Beautiful strike. side position anywhere near this octave. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Single collar tie now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Big leg kick land. Takedown defense holds up. Big kick land. Trying to establish that jab once again. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast that he always brings his hands right back to his face. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping it every time. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, that's a nice strike. Powerful leg kick land. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Try to establish that jab. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Single collar tie. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice, good punch. And both 
both guys really throwing with authority. Nice body kick. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Uh, he got that knee to connect to him. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Good punch, Lance. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Slips. Oh, stuffs the takedown. Yeah, now it's him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Side control now. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Gets up again here, but hurting. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Now he's got over on And he landed the right hand there. guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Right hand on point. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Effective punch there by Shaw. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh! Oh! And it was perfect. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. What a fight so far! More than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice straight punch. Wow, he actually got the takedown. All right, so he postures.
things up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, a single column tie there. Timely defense there. Oh, oh. oh he dove and he lands. Wow. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Shore. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Watch a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Chor. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, big head kick lands. Nice kick. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body. There oh! Look at that. Trouble's over. It's over. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of round number four. We're going to winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career.